Ahoy there cruisers and welcome on board the P&O Britannia after her multi-million pound refit. We're going to take you around on this video tour in 4K Ultra HD. Let's start in the Crow's Nest, one of our favourite places to relax and watch the world go by. The panoramic windows span across the front, offering spectacular views. Next door there's a small library with computers to use and books to borrow. Just along the corridor we have the speciality restaurant The Epicurean. It offers a fusion of traditional and modern dining elements. It also offers afternoon tea by Eric Lanlard. We highly recommend. The level of dining, presentation and service would cost much more on a land-based holiday. Now to the outdoor areas. In typical British style, the weather was awful. You're going to have to use a bit of imagination and pitch yourself sailing the Mediterranean or Caribbean. Serenity is the adults only pool and bar area. It's the perfect place to relax. Ah, time to relax in the retreat. This area can be booked for an extra charge. It offers comfortable sun loungers and the exclusive area at the front of the ship also offers a massage room and two hot tubs. Now to the main pool area. There's two large pools and two hot tubs and you're going to find plenty of sun loungers to soak up the sun. There's also two bars, a pizzeria, grill and ice cream shop with plenty of seating. The Horizon Restaurant is the onboard buffet. It's open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. There's a large selection of food including British favourites. The drink station offers complimentary water, coffee, juice, as well as a wide selection of teas. On an evening, part of the buffet turns into the beach house, and for a little extra charge you can enjoy dishes inspired by South America, the Caribbean and USA. The Sunset Bar at the after the ship is the perfect place to enjoy a drink. And because it's connected to the buffet, it's also the ideal place to enjoy food al fresco. The Cookery Club is for food lovers. It hosts a whole menu of different classes. And on some cruises you can cook with your favourite celebrity chefs, including Marco Pierre White. There's a small, well-equipped gym next door for those who want to burn off them cruise calories. Let's take a look at a suite on deck 14. 
Well, it's impressive to say the least. With a separate living room and bedroom, it has everything you need to enjoy a touch of luxury whilst on Britannia. Beds can either be twin or queen sized, and you'll also find UK plug sockets. The bathroom is huge with a separate washroom, large shower and full bath. And the balcony is double the size of a standard balcony cabin. Let's head down to Deck 7 to take a look at the Live Lounge. It offers plenty of entertainment including live music, game shows and discos. It's the perfect place to relax after dinner, but it does get busy so arrive early to grab your favourite spot. Sindhu is the speciality Indian themed restaurant. We've dined here previously and it is delicious. It offers Asian themed dishes. The studio is the onboard TV studio and cinema. It shows classic movies as well as the latest blockbusters. A new addition since the refit is the Dixon's Travel Shop. It features all the latest tech from Apple, Bose, GoPro and more. And just next door is the Photo Gallery. Before you reach the main atrium, you'll find the future crew sales and loyalty desks. The newly designed atrium is just gorgeous. p and have really listened to their customers and made some major changes in this area, making it much more comfortable and accessible. It's been given a new lease of life. Java is the onboard cafe, serving Costa coffee and sweet treats. It also now serves alcoholic drinks, making it the perfect place to sit and people watch. The Glass House is located opposite the Java Cafe. It's headed up by award-winning wine expert, Ollie Smith. We enjoyed an absolutely delicious meal here. The small plates are reasonably priced and perfect for a sharing feast. Heading towards the front of the ship is the Crystal Room. It's a venue dedicated to live music and dancing, including demonstrations from Strictly Come Dancing guests on certain cruises.
The Headliners Theatre is located at the front of the ship. The shows are very popular, so get here early to avoid disappointment. The shows are impressive, with a cool LED backdrop and all the latest technology. Brodie's is the British pub on board. It offers an impressive array of beers, ciders and ale. It also hosts quizzes, live sport and karaoke on an evening. And just off to the side, you'll find a small casino offering tables and slot machines. Around the atrium on deck 6 you'll find more shopping opportunities since the refit. There's three included main dining restaurants all offering the same menu. This is the Oriental Dining Room. Back to the atrium on deck 5 you'll find live music and the much improved layout. We really love the new colour scheme and the starburst chandelier. On one side you'll find the Market Café. It's created by master patissier Eric Lanlard. For an extra charge, you can enjoy treats and drinks in this quirky space. On the opposite side is the Blue Bar, serving cocktails, drinks and champagne. The White Wall Galleries is a new addition to the ship. Moving forward you'll find the unique Limelight Club, a dinner show with live performances from an ever-changing lineup of celebrities such as Gareth Gates and Claire Sweeney. Just next door you'll find the reception area and the explorers area for all your shore excursion needs. The Oasis Spa and Health Club has had some updates during the refit, including two new express pods hosting a range of high-tech treatments. There's single and couples treatment rooms as well as a hydrotherapy suite and a new aroma steam room. So what did we think? Well, we are super impressed that p have listened to their customers and made positive changes to the ship. We really enjoyed our time on board and we were pleased to see that the drinks and upcharge restaurants were really very reasonably priced. 
we would definitely recommend Britannia and would love to spend some more time on her, preferably in better weather. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our Patreon to support us even further. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising! cruising.